Hello everyone, today I have a special treat for you all. I'm going to be detangling this doll's extremely matted hair. Over the years, I've gone shopping, I've been a thrifter, and I've purchased different dolls like 18 inch or Barbie, whatever it may be. Through all of that thrifting, even with second-hand dolls, I've never seen a doll's hair this tangled. Well, I've had her for a while now, and since this is a truly unique case, maybe you have a doll like this at home, and I wanted to take you all along for the ride so you can see how to fix this as well. Let's go. So of course, since this doll is from the thrift store, has likely had a lot of owners, we're gonna need a nice shampoo, particularly one that's cheap and you don't care about. And you're also going to need a conditioner. This is going to help with the detangling process. And of course, you're also going to need a brush. This is a double-sided brush and a wide-toothed comb. It's a lot of hair, so I'm also going to use these clips for it not to be so overwhelming, as well as a detangler spray. Now, I've never used this before on my real hair or doll hair, so I don't know how it works, but we're definitely gonna find out. And lastly, this bucket to soak the doll hair. As you can see here, I've gotten quite far within the process and all I've done to get here is finger detangle and then apply detangling spray, which I actually ended up liking, so I recommend it. Right here, I'm just combing through the hair with my thumb to make sure I get all of those pesky tangles out. Remove any of the larger knots with scissors. Okay, so everything that you saw me do, that was absolutely all I did. I finger combed, then I used the Cantu detangling spray, and then I went in with the brush and I laid the hair on my forearm so I made sure I got every single strand and that's it. Here is the hair all prepped and ready for the next step. I'm so glad that this is done. Thank God. I, I almost gave up. This video would have never been made, but I'm glad I got it done. It took a month, but here we are. On to the latter steps of this process, I'm soaking the doll's hair in a bucket of really hot water, and I'm also going to pour some conditioner and some shampoo into the water to not only cleanse, but soften the hair. Here are the results after unbraiding the hair. It looks nice like this, but I want it straight still, so I'm going to take a white tooth comb, a double-sided brush, and add a little conditioner. Comparing it to earlier, this is so much better. It's soft, it's bouncy, and it is amazing. Even with all of that hair that came out, I'm so happy that her hair is still thick and look, we can actually comb through it. She is an R Generation doll. If I can remember the name, I'll link it in the description box, but tell me if they look similar or does mine look a little rough around the edges. One thing is for sure, it's amazing to think that just one month ago, this doll's hair was an extremely matted and dirty mess. And now I can actually comb it, I can bounce it around, I can run my fingers through it. And I know it's not 100% perfect, but this just goes to show you can do anything as long as you put your mind to it. It took me one month, but I did it. Alright you all, that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for giving me your time to watch this video. I really hope that you try out this method. Goodbye, God bless you, see you later.